Oh, there we go. Beep, bop, boop. Oh, that's working. Let's see. Well, we'll make sure mics. No, yours isn't working. Why? Try it again. Seems awful frozen. There we go. Check, 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 uh, Hi everybody! Welcome to the beer cast. <laughs> ooh, my we're, once a month beer, because I have not ooh. broken down and drinking beer any other time during this diet. I don't believe you, <laughs> and it's okay. That's fine. It's we're still in pandemic. That's you know whatever, man. It's fine. Well, you know what? You didn't have a beer with. Uh, with me and with us here on the beer cast. This is our third episode. Hi, everybody. It's uh, what's what's today? It's the twenty eighth or something. It's I don't know. Dude, it's almost June. It's May or June? It's May, right? May twenty eighth. No, May twenty eighth. God, the summer isn't going by that fast. It's not what I, was, I had, but it's going pretty quick still too. No, no, yeah, right. but it's not June twenty eighth yet. That's no, next no, week. that's about when you're going to be here, right? And end of June. <laughs> Okay. We'll be flying out for my beer extravaganza at the Orange County Fair. By 17th through August 17th, I will be available for discussions and free beers at the Orange County Fair from uh, uh, 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. Yep. <laughs> and that's, that's what it is. And, any, and that's anytime after, you have to call his manager, who is me. <laughs> Harry Stanopitz. Harry Stuckles. Famous. <laughs> Shestuckles and Eingenbergen. My name is Shestuckles and I take shekels. <laughs> and if you don't pay my shekels, you're getting shekels. <laughs> or whatever. I don't you're doing know. good? Life's okay? Yeah, we're good, man. It's even better when I'm hanging out with you and we get to... And I, you know, I've been looking forward to this all week. I get to drink beer <laughs> and I have a long weekend. Like, it's a good. It's oh. going to be a good time. Yeah, we're, we're doing good here. Yeah. Right? So. yeah, good. Well, anyway, speaking oh. of... Let's let's cr crack open a cold one. Uh, you can Harry see here. Harry Carey here. Harry Carey here. Hey, what's your favorite planet? Mad the sun. Um, <laughs> that's not that's not a planet. Um. <laughs> Just say yes, and we'll move on. <laughs> yes, and we'll move on. <laughs> Uh, all right. The moon so, was made out of spare ribs. Would you eat it? Sorry, I, we're, we're, I don't under, I don't understand the question. It's a very simple question. <laughs> I, I, I have seconds of washing down with a cold Top, bud. Heck, I have seconds. Top it off with a cool Budweiser. <laughs> uh, all right. 
Well, okay, what are we drinking first? <laughs> as you can see, I've got my first one. I, uh, yeah, we haven't had any yet, if you can somehow believe that. Uh, first up, we're going to drink. Uh, it's from Beechwood Brewing, uh, the LBC IPA. I figured I'd bring it home. Um, this is far and away the close. Well, ironically, this is easily the closest. This is like my our home brewery here in Long Beach. Um, but uh, yeah, we got LBC IPA. So let's do this. I hope this is still good. That. Oh yeah, that shit. that's all right. You say okay. it's still good. But how long has it been in the fridge? A while. Oh no, it's been in the fridge. I put it in the fridge yesterday. Okay. But I've had it for a while. Oh, it's been chilling at room temperature. Yeah, but that's okay. Eh. Uh, beer, uh, beer, especially in a can, it used to, tends to last. It's not so bad for it. All right. There we go. No, no, no. We want some beer. Okay. Cheers to you, my friend. My friend. Uh, well, I'll get my beer in a minute because I know I'm only doing one. It still yes, smells cheers. good. I can I can tell you that much. It still smells really great. That means it's fine. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. That's a good beer. That's a good. It is sweet. It is fruity. It's so light and crisp. It's like apple. I get like mm. apple. Like, like, like sweet, like not like man. It, when I say fruity, it's, it's not like mango or citrusy, right? It's, it's like real sweet. Oh, but it's an crazy. IPA, and it's an IPA, and it's Beechwood, so it's home. But uh, speaking of that, let me move this back. I'm trying to position the camera. So uh, L LBC IPA. It is a um, American style IPA uh, from Beechwood Brewing, located in Long Beach, California. LBC. Uh, it's got an ABV of 7.1%, so it's not so bad. And an IBU of 99. And I... That's surprising. That is not a bitter beer at all. I actually think... I think you would like... I think this is up there. I think you would like this one, Mike. Nice. It's okay, not, it's cool. Not, it's not strong. I mean, I know you... Of the IPAs, like, I know you like Pliny, because that's just quality, but... It's not strong. Like I, actually, Pliny's not my favorite. It's Elysian Space Dust. Elysian. It kind of reminds me of Elysian, Elysian Space Dust, actually. Elysian. 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 Elys Elysian. <laughs> Just say yes and let's move on. Elysian. Um, it's very light. I, I actually probably would compare it to, I think it's close to Elysian a Space Dust. Wow. Um, uh, you're supposed to use a tulip. I mean, we got as close as we can get here. But... Um, Beachwood started. It had started all at the already well-established Beachwood Barbecue, which is just down the road here in Seal Beach, California. Oh. Co-founders Gabriel Gordon and Lena Perelman partnered with brewmaster Julian Schrago in 2011 to open a full-service brew pub. They had already been famous for having really good craft beers and really good selection of craft beers, and then they were like, "Why don't we do it ourselves?" And they did. Um, and they were immediately really good at it. In 2014, they actually won the best. Uh, Large Brew Pub and Brewer of the Year Awards at the Great American Beer Festival in Denver, Colorado. That's like it's one of the ones that count. Uh, and immediately put Long Beach on the map as far as uh, craft breweries go. They soon opened a proper, another brew pub uh, in downtown Long Beach, as well as tap rooms in Huntington Beach and Garden Grove. And the Blendery, which is actually uh, just a block away from the downtown Long Beach brew pub, um, where they focus on small batch and er experimental beers, um, and they they sure. they tend to most of their focus is in recreating lambic styles of Belgian beers. So you know it's oh, it's the craft brew craft beer. It's it's always it's Belgian beers. It always comes back to Belgian beers. Um, in 2020, though, uh, due mostly to the pandemic, the um, Seal Beach Beachwood Barbecue had to close forever. Um, it's yeah. sad. For me, because that was one of the, uh, you know, once we started getting into beer past, like, I'm going to chug them for beer pong. Like, once we really started appreciating beer, that was, like, I didn't even go very often, but I just always held that as my brewery. Um, and uh, I'm happy Long Beach is still going. And the Long Beach one is really nice, but it's it's just a shame that the Seal Beach one had to close. So, um, yeah, it really is. And the barbecue was good, too. 
I mean, the barbecue. Yeah, the okay. food was phenomenal. The food was really good. Um, the LBC IPA was brewed specifically to pay homage to Long Beach. And as you can see, it's decked out in Long Beach State's black and yellow to represent the LBC right. Go Beach! Woo! Anyways. Go Beach! Go Beach! Hey, go Beach! So, on a scale of one to IPA, is this full-blown... It's, it's not. You're making it sound very mellow, IPA. It's... On that second, go go for it. There, it's, there is hops. You can tell there's hops. Um, and it's more than and it's but more. It's than not normal. overbearing. It's not overbearing. I don't think. I also take it. Mm, you also got to take in mind that I like IPA, so I'm maybe I'm an arm. I'm not as sensitive. Not sensitive to that. But you know, you get what I mean. Like I already kind of like it. So if yeah. for me an IPA, it's probably a six on the IPAs. Like uh, if the if. Ten is like pure hops. <laughs> uh, it's probably six, so probably for you, it's probably closer to an eight, I would think. Yeah, it sounds like it would be um, tolerable and tasty, but I probably wouldn't necessarily order one on my own. But maybe I could, if somebody like handed me one, I think I could enjoy it. Yeah. If you didn't have to no. pay for it, because <laughs> yeah. it sounds like for me, it's a little bit. Lower in the craziness and racer IPA. Oh, way lower than that. That is ve- that's a strong hoppy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I can drink racer IPA, um, and I tend to drink that if I'm in any sort of a situation where, if like let I for example, I remember I was at Magic Mountain and all the beers were the same price. Yeah. And you know, it's all ten dollars. It's all too expensive. Hey, well, thirteen dollars yeah. a beer or something. Yeah. Well, I, I'll walk up and be like, "Okay, it's thirteen dollars for a racer IPA, or thirteen dollars for uh, Pilsen." And I'll go, "Fuck, give me, give me the racer IPA. It's that's three times as much alcohol." <laughs> that is. I, so that's. It, it depends on what your goal is. <laughs> if it's like I need, exactly, I, I gotta get a buzz on, then it is worth more. Yeah, you're more bang for your buck, I guess, but. But that sounds way mellower than that. So I would that definitely enjoyable. I might have to try that. I would definitely put this more towards space dust than it's in between space dust and racer, but it's more towards space dust. Fantastic! Yeah, that's wonderful. Oh, and it's cool. Long Beach. Good news. And it's local. I mean, so you know, yeah. it's good for your heart. <laughs> but <laughs> if I could say one anecdote I know about Beachwood. Yeah. And I don't know all the information about it. I think. No, it's real. It's it's not made up. It's I've I've looked it up before, but um, I know Ballast Point. How we, we I know you like them, but we don't really love them. Um, I, yeah, I think I'd like to go to no. the actual San Diego one, but sure, yeah, yeah, I like them because they have yeah. a lot of selection. <laughs> they make good beers, but yeah. I I do remember at one point, I believe I was. I don't remember who told me about it, but at one point I found out that uh, uh, Ballast Point had done this like series of beers, and it was about like fish or something. Yeah. And um, this is the part where I'm, I'm I don't know if it's true or not, but I know this actually happened. Now Beachwood came out with a series of their own beers that literally made fun of each one Ballast Point. Really? Hit. They trolled them uh, with beer. That's funny. And uh, it made me love Beachwood. So you, I already loved them. It made me like, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's pretty great. Uh-huh. Yeah, no, I hadn't heard that. I, I believe it because because Ballast Point came in and they were immediately competition for Beachwood because it's Ballast Point came here. I mean, they're from San Diego, but they came in at Long Beach here. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I gotta say that location is wonderful. It's an awesome spot, and I think that's it's. You can get a lot of beers. The food is kind of not that great. But I also haven't been there uh, really since it opened. And when you go opening week, it's like, okay, yeah, the food might not be great. They're getting, they're, they just hired new cooks. With, they're figuring it out. So I, I, I would expect, I wonder if it's different by now. But I'm sure they've changed their message menu somehow. But I went there a bunch before I moved out here. Yeah. Just because everybody wanted to go there. Yeah. Well, it's um, such a good spot. And there's so many different types of beers. But. Yeah, except I didn't like one of their beers. I didn't like not even the, uh, the Victory at Sea, the stout that they have. 
It's the one with the skeleton. So their beers, their labels are all either a fish or a skeleton <laughs> pirate. The Victory at Sea is the one that is a full-on skeleton pirate driving a boat through a massive storm. It's like the coolest label ever. It's a port. Well, that's what they're really good at yeah. is visual parts of beer. They have really good. They got a good graphic designer for sure. And I'm definitely shit talking on them pretty hard right now. That's all right. No, Beachwood is amazing. That's Beach what we need to know. Yes. And like you said, uh, I know that people can't experience that, but their their Seal Beach location was this wonderful, tiny little restaurant, and um, people in there were always chill, unlike some of the Irish pubs on that street. And, <laughs> you mean and, uh, Clancy's where we walked in and someone threw a coaster at us? <laughs> <laughs> ah, well, also, I, I think it was Clancy's also where we were no, like not walking down the street and I watched somebody get thrown outside, punched in the face, and then while he was on the ground, somebody just kicked him in the ribs as hard as they could. Yeah, that was probably Clancy's. It was like, <laughs> it was like oh my god. Yeah, that sounds like, um, that sounds like Clancy's. <laughs> uh, Hey, but yeah, it's at the, the same, same place time, that coaster just like hit us. That that was different. Clancy's is the one at the very end, and then there's the one a little bit in between where I've never seen it with the lights on before. Uh, I forget O'Malley's? which. No, O'Malley's, O'Malley's and Hennessy's are two of the nice ones that are like restaurants. Yeah. Clancy's yeah. is the one at the end. Clancy's the one that's fun. It's crazy, but it's fun. And they have the the big uh, giant Jenga and the hook game. Clancy's yeah. is fun, no, but I, it's it's a little it's a but then there's the one slightly in I can't remember what it's called. I know what it is. It's it's uh, it's the the name is the, the place with all the shit on the walls. Yeah, shen- shenanigans. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is why I love hanging out with Andrew because live he picked up on that movie reference. Yeah, it was Tim movie. Burton's Ask Avatar, right? Yes. Airbender. Yes, the last Avatar bender. You got it. You <laughs> nailed it. So you finished your beer. Does that mean it's time for uh, uh, me to go get mine and you get your second one? Yes. Okay. It's not even a, the Irisher. That's what it's. That's the that's the scary one. Uh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> the Irisher. <laughs> Clancy's is fun, but also, as I said, that Clancy's is also the one where. Um, a guy died. <laughs> so. Not surprised. Not in the bar. It's like the where you go in and you have to turn left and right yep. and then you're inside. Yep. Yeah. Clancy's is. is it's fun. You know, it's so. That's a dive bar. Astonishing. Yeah. It's yeah. so astonishing for me that there's this dive bar and the Irisher on this sleepy little retirement street <laughs> i know right <laughs> they're the most punk rock you're you there's a chance you're getting in a fight inside this place uh, it's you a know. good chance um but outside is electric wheelchairs and, and dogs <laughs> yeah. and strollers cold like, stone creamery is next door <laughs> uh, no Okay, right, I'm going to go get my beer, you're going to get your second beer. All right, which I have right next to and, me. So. Uh, are you going to do yours? We'll do yours We'll do yours first, and then... Uh, well, I mean, we're going to kind of do them simultaneously. Okay. Beercast. We're a professionally run operation. Know what I mean? Oh, Perfect. I don't know if you remember this. Look, I got a frosty glass. My, my one glass I use. Here is Ooh. everybody to see. I got to admit, the label really caught my eye. Yeah. Um, and when I saw Ele- e- Elysian, right? Elysian, yeah. yeah. Um, I immediately knew. I don't want to jinx it, but I knew it was going to be a good beer and worth. Believe it or not, this 22 ounce at Foodland was $6. Uh, twenty-two. Yeah, that sounds about right. It's it's imported for a, a, It's imported. An import though. in Hawaii. Yeah, twenty-two ounce Elysian. I was like, also, my my handy dandy beer opener was still <laughs> attached to my desk. Oh, we're well, good. To go from last month. Hey, nice. Okay. Do you hear that? Listen. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So you'll have you don't have a you don't have the luxury of a second beer cam, 
So you, you'll have to hold yours up when you pour it. Oh, that's not a problem. I can do that. I have the technology. Right. I have. We can build him better, stronger, faster. <laughs> there you go. Now it's a stout, so I'm going to pour straight down the middle. Yeah, that's okay. For now, I'm only going to do about half of it, and I'm going to put this back in the fridge real quick. Okay. Real fast. I save it. That's a good idea. I, I'm a big fan of nice cold beers. Um, okay. So. All right. So uh, let's. Let's see through it, obviously. It's a fucking stout. You want to tell me about it or want me to. We'll, we'll try it while it's fresh. Yeah, you go ahead and try yours. Oh. oh it smells good. Holy shit. What are you smelling? Honestly, I can't even give you notes except it smells. Sweet, stout, just good. All of my years of drinking beer, my whole body just went, this is going to be a good one. Sp spine tingling. Okay. Good. Yeah, like the hair standing up, kind of. Oh, yeah, boy. hold on. All right. Damn, I wish I could have found it. I probably could have gone. I bet you the, the good Long Beach beer place that I go to that has Pliny all the time would probably have it, but I just didn't oh. want to. What you Dude, what I you wish you could. I wish you could try this with me. Yeah, I'll look for it for sure. Okay, I will admit for a stout, this is an aggressively flavored stout. Really? Um, yeah, it's, and I don't mean sweet or anything. So many stouts uh, uh, really try to put chocolate, coffee, yeah, um, uh, Peanut butter. I am a huge fan of Belching Beaver. Oh my uh, god! Peanut butter. Stout. That's one of the best ones. Out and there. that one's amazing. That but I, so I'm gonna good. say, this one. I don't know. I don't think it had a flavor. It just said Elysian Stout, right? Uh, it's an Imperial Oatmeal Stout. Yeah. So Imper this one is just trying to take on like Rasputin or something. Well, I'm glad you um, said that. Imperial just means it's a double. It's like a double stout, and Rasputin is a double. Imperial means it's strong. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I would say it's very well balanced. It's it's definitely it's got a lot of sweetness to it, but yeah. the predominant flavor is like campfire. So that that means smoke. So yes. campfire smoke. Ooh, that's oak. that's in your wheelhouse. That so is it sort of? Yeah. Are you getting rock beer ish hints? Actually, yeah. It it, it it's definitely got um relation oh it's very bitter at the end Ooh. I'm, but i'm okay That's with surprising. it but it's definitely got a, a hoppy back to it okay okay almost ipa like no joke which when it's kind of expect from lesion that and it's an imperial which means it's double it's just a, it's high it's a it's a high alcohol content <laughs> which is what you get usually i do i do IPAs. really like this though yeah all right well let's hear yeah, this is this is good this is good yeah smoky Overall sweet, bready, camp. It, it tastes like a good campfire mm. and um, just a, a good, really good quality stout. Yeah, I would buy this again, 100%. Well, damn, now I'm jealous. Now I wish I, I, I want to find it now. I like stouts. Stouts and porters are, you know, that's, it's the Scotsman in me. It's, <laughs> I got to get it. It's nice and warm and heavy. I, I, um, yeah. Well, let's so, yeah, tell me about them. Dragon's Tooth Stout. So apparently it's Dragon Dragon's Tooth, but I saw conflicting things. It said Dragon Tooth and Dragon's Tooth, so I misspelled it. But it, although it does say it right there, so maybe I should have <laughs> listened to the label. Uh, Dragon's Tooth. It's an Imperial Oatmeal Stout from Elysian Brewing Company in Seattle, Washington. Um, it's got an ABV of eight point one percent. That's kind of high. So that's probably where you're getting the. Like for a beer, for a stout, I guess that's about normal. The normal stout, stouts you see about nine or ten percent. So uh, still, it's higher than most regular beers. Um, and since it's the only beer you've had this month, uh, that's nice oh, and oh, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can I say something without cutting you off, just so I don't forget it? Yeah. Have you ever had thinly sliced German brown bread? It's mm. kind of like a really dense bread. No. I will try to introduce you to it. I, I forget what it's called. Maybe I'll look it up Unless, while you talk. I don't think you this brought... It tastes just like it. I don't think you brought... Did you bring... You may have... You brought German... No, you brought Filipino candies. You brought... No, I thought you did bring some bread home from Germany. 
Maybe not. That seems like that's a far trip to bring bread. I don't know if you would have done that. I don't know if they would have let you do that, actually. <laughs> Maybe. Um, should be, so 8.1% uh, alcohol, ABV. Uh, IBU of 56, so it's not that bitter. So that's interesting that you're getting a bitter note to it. Maybe it's, you know, it's just your specific, your, that's just what you taste. Uh, it could be, you know, you got a batch that was a little more bitter, so. I don't know. Oh, possible. Maybe, yeah. Uh, the brewery Elysian was founded in 1995 by Dave Bueller, Joe Bisaka, <laughs> and Dick Cantwell. Uh, Cantwell and Bisaka were home brewers, and while well, Bueller was, he had been a spirits wholesaler. Um, they opened their first brewing location in 1997 and had a 20-barrel um, capacity. Um, they then opened the brew pub. Uh, they had a brew pub within uh, GameWorks Arcade, which is a uh, it's. You know what you see those in the they're starting to spread everywhere because it's fucking awesome. It's an old school yeah. arcade that also that's for adults <laughs> and has a beer brewery inside. Uh, I went to we may have gone to it might have been GameWorks. We went um, when I went to see at least one of the times I went to see James at least a couple times. Like it's it's like it's it's a north the northwest thing that has come down everywhere because it's because. It's because duh. Uh, um, they oh, they had it in GameWorks from uh, 97 to 2002 before they opened their own standalone pub and bistro, Tangletown, <laughs> near Green Lake, <laughs> Washington. Uh, and then they have their largest location, Elysian Fields, great name, uh, in 2006 near CenturyLink Field. CenturyLink is where the Seahawks play, and it's very busy on game day. Um, and in 2015, though, they were sold to Anheuser-Busch. Uh, so they're technically not a craft brewery anymore because they're owned by a major. I don't know. I guess that's that's they have to there there has to be a line somewhere. But to me, craft brewery means it's not just light beers. It's like they actually care about and they it's good beers makes it a craft brewery. I guess right. Yeah, yeah. I would weigh in and say um, that craft brewery means in general it means small batch, but. It, 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 yeah. It's not made from a syrup. It's not um, a very mass produced. Although, you know, funny enough, I still consider Boston Lager a craft brewery. I still I respect would, them enough. Yeah, I would. I'd you know? agree with you. It's like no, no. there's so then there's it kind of comes back. So this is a thing that we've talked about. I'm, I'm teaching a psychology class. Right. And there's lots of words that have a certain meaning in our normal lexicon every day, how we say things. And then there's yeah. they have very specific definitions in terms of psychology, right? So like valid, a valid test to us means like, yeah, I mean, it's a good test. It predicts future behavior, that kind of stuff. Or you can say like, everyone has, everyone feels depression. Everyone can feel depressed, yeah. but you don't have, you haven't been diagnosed with major depressive disorder, right? So, uh, Kind of craft is the same thing. There's the technical definition of there's very specific it's something to do with like a major company can't have like 25 percent ownership or something something like that. Or there's a certain amount of like barrels that you can make. Uh, there's some there's very technical reason, Balls. but also for me and I think it goes to what you said. Uh, it's about beer that's quality and it's about the it's actually about the making of breweries and it's really like master brewers. It's like there's a difference between art and mass produced art right yeah 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 absolutely yeah. yeah it's it's um yeah it's just there's a lot of care put into it and you know it's funny I, I don't mean to shit on i'm gonna shit on the, i'm gonna bring up the classic budweiser there there is somebody who is a master brewer yeah like top of the world who makes sure the quality of that beer stays exactly the same for the customers right i gotta respect that yeah um, but obviously Budweiser is not a craft brewery. Right. Oh. Yes. No. Uh, but yeah, that's what we're kind of talking about. Uh, I okay. mean, I'd be interested to, I really want, we never quite did, uh, take the, the tour at the brewery over in, uh, just off the 605 over here. We still need to go. We still need to tour the Sriracha factory, by the way. I'm, I'm yes. upset that we never did yes. that. <laughs> Uh, yes. So one oh of my the, God, yes. one of the times when you come down, maybe while you're here, that if they're open and they're doing it, that I, that would be fun. <laughs> uh, that would actually be. Yeah, I'm in. Yeah. I'm 100 percent in. Um, um, during my uh, my my 
beer tour consulting at the Orange County Fair. Consulting uh, fees. <laughs> Uh, before we move on to your beer, I just want to say I sent you on the Discord, because we're doing this via Discord, um, a photo of the bread I was talking about, and I still feel that way. Do you see it? Oh, yeah, like pumper, oh, pumpernickel. Okay, but you're talking, but like real, legit, like pumpernickel. That's German thinly sliced, and it's, I wouldn't even say it's amazing. It's a very unique bread. It's very thin sliced, and it's very dense. It's it's almost hard to eat. Like you have to drink beer with it, um, or liquids with it. Just, this is this tastes like that in a wonderful way. Um, I don't. I, honestly, it makes me think of being in like a German town or a, a, a um, that little fake German town in the middle of uh, old, Sol Solvang. Old or uh, oh Solvang. I was gonna say Old World. <laughs> it, you know, honestly, it smells and tastes like the. I think, okay, so I'll wrap up talking about this beer unless I come up with more to say as you sure. do your yeah. next two beers. Um, front is fantastic. The middle is fantastic. The ending is a little bit too bitter. And then it here's makes, an interesting sense. thing yeah. for me to say. The after flavor. I haven't had a sip of this for about a minute. Uh -huh. The after flavor right now is <laughs> it is, is Elysian. And, and for those who don't know what that word means, it kind of means, like, pleasure and heaven. It's, yeah, um, in, in the Greek underworld, the Elysian Fields was heaven and Tartarus was hell. <laughs> so, so, right now, as I talk... It's the end of... You're getting the, the, this, the last few seconds of Gladiator right now. <laughs> it's, dude, it's... It is wonderful. I'm walking like, through a field of wheat while my family waits for me. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. I am walking through no field of wheat. <laughs> I am sitting at a German-style picnic bench. Oh, that's your... Oh, okay, that's fair. <laughs> a woman with a huge set of personalities. Yep. She's got real is, big eyes. Is, <laughs> she's got real big personalities. <laughs> it's it is, is just bringing me this beer and it's not even to, it, it's like sunset um it's perfect temperature out yeah this is this is this is a good beer this is all a right fantastic beer. good job elysian yeah. i every i mean i've i think i've only ever had space dust from them but i mean it's so good that yeah i can see that being good all right well cool well thanks mike i'm glad you like that i'm gonna have to find that so all right, next up, we're going to do mine, and I figure I can't be there with you, but I might as well get a, a Maui beer. Nice. <laughs> so this one That's is... That's one of the bigger ones out here. Yeah, it is. It's kind of an interesting story. Uh, there's something ironic in it, too. Uh, so Maui Brewing Company, Pineapple Man of Wheat. Um, let's see. Okay, still carbonated. All right. Oh, wait. Uh oh, oh boy. Well, oh, I gotta go to the, the beer pour cam. Kinda fucked that one up. Oh, when I go onto the YouTube live stream, it is so far behind. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's, I mean, that's, um, it, that helps it. So it doesn't, it, it helps it buffer. Um, ah. Well, that was a bad pour. Hold on, let me. Wait, I'll let you know as soon as I... That's not a... No, no, no. no remember what, when I discussed, I actually want to pour with a lot of head. So don't feel bad about where, that. It just needs to stop. I've been asked, where did you find that? Because I tried to look... I tried to find that, and I couldn't find anything that said that. But maybe I just wasn't looking in the right place. I will... I, I learned a lot about that in Germany. Um, oh, okay, well, I'll, t all right, then, I'll take your word then. Yeah. And then also, I can't do it right now, but there's a video on YouTube where the guy explains it. Uh, yeah, I don't, um, I don't want to say, I don't make it sound like I don't believe you, but that is just counter to everything we were ever told. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Well, you know what's funny is I feel like the only reason we were ever, in my memory, the only reason I was ever taught to uh, pour, uh, yeah, so it didn't foam, was so you could drink it sooner. Know what I mean? Got it. Yes. Yeah. What I've seen is that I, every, they, you're supposed to have foam, but it's like there's a level where there's too much, and then there's a level where it's it's ideal. But you are absolutely correct there. You can 100% shock the beer, and it'll be like 90% foam. Yeah. Um, Which is almost what disgusting. I did. Yeah, that's too much. 
All right. Well, you still got. No, it looks still... fine to me. This is down now. I also did the nose trick. Where you get the. I don't know if that's true, but I do it anyways. You get the salt and oils off your face. Well, you still have beer though, right? I got. A... I saved a little bit left to cheers you on this one, All and right. I got more for your next. Well, beer. cheers, clank. Ooh, that is wow. That is pineapple. That's a pineapple beer. Oh my gosh. Pineapple pen? I have a pen. I have an apple. Ugh, apple pen. No, but for real, like that was. It's all pineapple. Oh my gosh, that's delicious. I almost don't even. I, well, no, there's. The, oh, there it is. There's the beer. <laughs> Yeah, wow. say what you were about to say because you were you were being very kind to it, and it's fine. I was gonna say um, I almost didn't almost even said... I almost didn't even taste the beer. I just it almost just tastes like pineapple juice. But then at the yeah. end, then aftertaste, then you're like, oh, there it is. <laughs> wow, I'm kind of shocked at how. Well, I, I am, and I'm not. It reminds me of um, I don't know if you ever had it. Uh, but we did it. We did an episode uh, back when it was Bears with Braveheart, um, pumpkin chunk and ale uh, from yeah. Dogfish Head, which was made with actual mm -hmm. chunks of pumpkin, and it's one of the best flavored. It's one of the best beers I've ever had. Like I was so in love with it. <laughs> I I look for it every every time we get near October. I look for it, and it's just I I just haven't been able to find it again. But it that it that's that level. Like that's. Oh, they made this with real pineapple. Like that's not even that's because you can kind of tell when it's artificial. That's Are you got, sure? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Um. Well, let me tell you. <laughs> so this is pineapple man of wheat. It's a wheat beer, American pale style, uh, made from uh, by Maui Brewing Company, uh, which is located in Kihei, Hawaii. They have other locations, um, but the main their main one is Kihei. Uh, ABV of 5.5% with an IBU score of 18. So it's nice and light. It's not very bitter. Um, you're supposed to have in a Weissen glass. Um, Maui Brewing Company started as a single brew pub in January 2005 and was founded by Garrett Marrero and his then girlfriend Melanie Oxley. Uh, he had, Marrero had been working in finance in San Francisco when he went to Hawaii for vacation, fell in love with it, uh, and then he eventually moved there. But while he was there on vacation, he noticed he would ask a local uh, restaurant, like, he would ask for a local beer, and he was almost always given something brewed outside of Hawaii uh, or off the island, which gave them the idea, oh, uh, there's an opportunity here. So he and his girlfriend, Oxley, raised some money with some help from their families to get a loan. They bought their first storefront by two, two years later. Demand for beers had made them outgrow their space they had to expand um by producing packaging beers at a separate facility 2012 they expanded even further uh from 18,000 to uh, 40,000 barrels 2017 Moreau and Oxley were awarded the national small business persons of the year award from the small business Asso administration which was then ironically run by Linda McMahon wife of Vince McMahon owner of the WWE one of the most gigantic powerful and monopolistic companies in the world but we'll just leave that there and move on. Um, by 2019, Maui Brewing had nearly 400 employees and four restaurant locations. Uh, their main one in Kihei, one in Lahaina, one in uh, Kailua, and one in Waikiki in Honolulu. Um, Pineapple Mana Wheat is made with, uh, according to the website, so uh, we can, if you want to fact check that, that would probably be smart, but from everything I found, uh, it's made with locally grown Maui gold pineapples, uh, which is a, a sweet I aroma and a light gold appearance. Awesome. Slight wheat haze, so that makes sense. Um, yeah, that's... I don't even like... So I don't like pineapple... It's just the texture of actual chunks of pineapple is the only thing I do. I like pineapple juice. I like the taste of pineapple, so... Yeah. For me, it's too sugary, but I hear what you're saying. It's definitely... I mean, it's... There's a lot of pineapple in it, so I get it. I probably wouldn't have... I probably wouldn't get another one. In one sitting, uh, I can see that being good. Not a bad thing. I can see that being good with like 
something salty like rice and 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 chicken and 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 soy sauce stuff like i can see that going really well with that uh, or like sushi yeah. or um well if you're in hawaii i mean you gotta get poke <laughs> but uh, all right you know what yeah. i can and see you that know here call it show you sauce. show you sauce oh, okay oh because that's because japan they can't say they don't have an s sound it's all sh show you and they have to end on a vowel. oh cool show you sauce interesting but that's pretty good what was the brewery that you were at where you, they wouldn't let you <laughs> was uh, it was it maui brewing company or was it kona no it was it was uh, uh it was no i actually love i've had it's funny because a lot of people here kind of shit on kona brewery yeah um, i have had nothing but wonderful experiences at kona brewery um, well, because now you're not getting the uh, Colorado version. <laughs> um, well, they have they have a, a red ale that I I adore. Oh, is that long? It's long a lot, board? Um, I'm not sure. I, I know. I think it's called like Red Rock. Oh, it's oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You were trying to find it um, uh, at one point I, when we were first, first talking about doing this. I remember you said you wanted to foot, and I couldn't find it here, which would have been fine, but. I'll fly your butt out here, and we'll do a live stream from them and get absolutely tanked. All right. Um, I, I was I was gonna say I should. I'll bring my I'll bring my laptop, and we'll do it from Big Bear because <laughs> it's the end of the month. <laughs> That'd be fun. Um, I know they they're fantastic, and like I said, they have a beer that I actually like. I feel that too many of uh, uh, breweries in Hawaii, uh, like a lot of American beers, although uh, craft breweries now are. Finally, getting better about this, which is too much sugar. Um, but yeah. that being said, you asked me about Waikiki Brewery, um, mm -hmm. and uh, what happened there was uh, oh, that's actually right it's, at, it's actually called Waikiki Brewery. It's not a brewery in Waikiki. Okay, that's what threw yeah, me off because it's have, like I know there's a and there's one in Waikiki, but no, it's literally called Waikiki Brewery. Okay, yeah, they, they have multiple like locations. They have one in Kakaako. They have one in. Wait, 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 wait. Waikiki. Say that first one again. Kakaako. Nice. Kaka. <laughs> yeah, I'm good at my pronunciations. I'm a th By the way, good job with... with I'm a 30-year-old uh, man who left at Kaka. <laughs> huh? Yeah, Kakaako. Kihei. Si. Your pronunciations were actually pretty good, except for one, but uh, I don't even remember what it was, and I don't want to go back, because I don't think I can pronounce it correctly. Lahaina... What the hell is going on? Kailua? Is, you, are you, is my TV doing something? No. Okay, we're good. I thought I heard, because I'm wearing earbuds, I can't, I thought I heard something. Oh. Um, Kihei Lahaina okay. Kailua? Okay. No, that's all right. Oh, well, Lahaina, I think that's actually correct, too. It's close. Um, but mm. I was at Waikiki Brewery at the end of the semester, and uh, um, so days he ago. sat down, <laughs> and yeah, it was, it was about... Three I, I, three weeks ago. -ish. I guess you did end. And, you ended a lot earlier than Long Beach normally did, huh? I, that's just my baseline. Yeah. Yeah, that's UH ends a little bit earlier. But um. But you started you get earlier there too, right? Mm -hmm. Sorry. Go ahead. We get there. We sit down. Uh, the waitress comes over. He asks what everybody wants, and I go last. And and I finally saw that they had a pilsen because I've been there before and. Uh, at that time, all of their beers were sugary or IPA or yeah. sugary IPA. Um, Question. I was very annoyed by that. Is, is a Pilsen different than a Pilsner? I'm not 100% sure. I just started calling it uh, Pilsen because it's written that way on a lot of bottles. And I believe in Germany. Maybe I'm not sure. I'm honestly not sure. I'll, I'll um, look. You keep going. You go, go with your story. I'll look that up real quick. No, I want you to find. Um, so we sit down, and everybody takes their order, and she gets to me last because I was like helping people at the table out because I was with a bunch of twenty-one-year-olds who had no beer at all. Yeah, um, made me feel really fucking old. Um, and then she asked what I want, and I uh, and I saw that they had a uh, a pilsen or pilsner, and um, I said I'll take two because they only had pint glasses. Right? Oh right. Okay. Of uh, two of your of your pilsen, pilsner, yeah. whatever. Um, and she goes, oh, I can only serve you one at a time. And I said, 
I'll drink both of them in front of you. I'm not giving it to somebody. She <laughs> right. goes, no, I can only serve you one at a time. Why do they... I went... Oh, okay, I'm sorry. This is this is at the brewery, right? Yeah, we're at the brewery. Like, you can't be under 21 table. to be even in here. But they but make it's a restaurant. It... It's a restaurant. So oh, okay. under 21 can be there. And for the, the, the funniest part is... Everybody at the table ordered beers. She didn't ID a soul, right? Um, and I was the last person to order, but apparently they have some sort of a rule. could be Hawaii, where they can only serve you one beer at a time. I don't know. I don't know. I didn't ask. But what I said was, you know, yeah, I weird. figured it was some sort of a, you know, thing. So I said, I'll drink both of them in front of you. And she said, no. And I went, okay. And she could tell I was a little distraught. She goes, look, this is what I can do. That's tasty. Have them make two. I'll bring you one. I'll go get your second one right away. And I went, okay, fantastic. Right? She goes, she gets me the first beer. She hands it to me. She turns around. She walks away. And I'm already done with it. Yeah. I fucking just. Classic, <laughs> classic Mike. <laughs> and I, I put my fist up like this. Right? Yeah. I'm hanging out. I'm done. She doesn't bring my second beer back for a minute. And the general manager, his name is Andy Flarty. Uh, um. Flirty, I recognize him off. I'm looking at their website. I recognize him. Oh. <laughs> Walks by and he goes, Hey, you need another beer? And I go, Yes, I do. And he goes, Sweet. Walks away. She brings me back my second beer. He doesn't bring me any beer. She brings me back my second beer. I grab the second beer. I look her dead in the eyes and I say, I'll need another one, please. And I slam the second one and put it down on the table. <laughs> right? <laughs> Mr. Flarty sees me do this, right? There he is. He walks over. She's gone. She's gone off to get my third beer. Um, walks over and he goes, hey, man, it's not a sprint. I went. Okay. I'm, I, this, this, this That's cool. Than you. Do you not want more <laughs> of my money? <laughs> Basically. I, you know, maybe they're I mean, used to idiot tourists. Or yeah, something. Yeah, as soon as I can't handle their alcohol. As soon as I said that, I that's yeah, they probably have. It's it's always some asshole ruined it for everybody. But I, it took it took everything in me to not look at him and be like, I'm not a fucking pussy. Like, <laughs> shut up and get me my fucking beer. Like I was kind of like, okay, your waitress gave me shit. You're giving me shit. What the fuck? Stop it. <laughs> um, I hate to I hate to give him a bad review because the beer was good and the food was good, but to top it all off, uh, uh, about halfway through our lunch because we were there at lunchtime, um, maybe that's why. The, that uh, the lady why. came back over and she upsold the whole table shots. Yeah. Right? If you, do you know what an upsell is? Yeah, yeah. You try to you sell them something more expensive. Yeah, and it's not even more or expensive. Like you try to sell them more. Yeah, we had to do that. Uh, upsell means more expensive. You're right. She was just uh, trying no, to I mean, get... it's both. Spend more money. They, they they have to sell to spend more money. Yeah, we had to do that at Target, for sure. Yeah, so she comes by and she goes, It's a normal Y'all need part anything of... else? How about some shots? I mean, it's a part, and... of, that's a part of the business. Like, it's not... A yeah, and it's fine. And I'm on board. I go, fuck it. Yo, let's get a round of vodka. You know, like, let's do some shots. She brings us back. Nask. She brings us back. Killed. Vodka shots. Okay. Right? So severely watered down. Ah, yeah. Shots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I slammed mine back. And remember, I'm with a bunch of 21 year olds who don't know shit about drinking at all. Right. They should, in theory, prefer this chilled down one and not say a word about it. Right. I put mine down in my head. I'm like, this is, this is the last straw. What the fuck? Yeah. You know what I mean? And I keep my mouth shut because I don't want to ruin the experience i don't want to be that guy sure. bitching yeah yeah um but it's funny one of the other guys at the table goes it's... he looks at me and he goes Is that watered down oh, and i went yeah that ah. yeah, was he goes why is it watered down and i was like she served us chilled shots yeah did we ask for that and i went no we didn't well <laughs> and then it's, and then it's, the it's, chick at the table goes, oh, well, I mean, it, that's fine. And I was like, look, she charged us $8 a shot. By the way, I didn't look it up. I didn't know. She didn't tell us. I just knew. You just knew. I just, I just knew it was $8 the mic, a shot. The, went, mic, the mic part of your brain went like, I know this. 
I know what they're doing. I know this. <laughs> it's just eight dollars a shot and serve this fifty percent watered down vodka. Um, I said that to the chick at the yeah. table. I was like, "You just you paid eight dollars for half a shot. That's bullshit." Yeah. And uh, yeah, so that was my sorry, Waikiki Brewery, but you kind of got under my skin. No. They see. I mean, I don't. I'm not to defend them, but you see a group of. 21 year olds and a 30 something year old like you see a group of 21 year olds like yeah we're gonna sell them some stuff i don't i don't really but then why, why were they trying to slow me down why why can't i just chug three beers that is then separate it's because they get a groups of 21 year olds who come in and ruin it <laughs> yes i don't know yeah you know me i'm that rare unicorn well they don't get it i like to chug two beers right away yeah and then i start sipping beers yeah Get it out of the way. It makes you full, gotta, too, right? I like to say, yeah, it does. Yeah. I like to say I want to take the plane and take off, and then I reach cruising altitude as fast as possible. And just hang out. And then I sip. And I if I could out. get the plane to so. just jump to 30,000 feet, then we're good to go, baby. <laughs> ah. Actually, on that note, I'm going to get the rest of my beer while you do your third beer, right? Yes. All right, so we'll and, have another beer uh, A bonus something to, to entertain the viewer. Excellent. Well, there you go. We got Mike getting the beers. He getting more beer, but we did Maui pineapple. That's good. I'm not going to throw that one. I don't need to do that. Move this away! What's that for we'll bring back? <coughs> oh, that still tastes good. Now we've got is a gorgeous beer. Uinta. What are oh, you Okay, into? so the name of this, the name of the one I had is the Dragon's Tooth Stout. Dragon's Tooth Stout, right. Dragon's Tooth Stout. From Elysian Brewing Company. Very tasty. And it has a description on it. I should have done all of this earlier. That's right, that's my job. It's rich, uh, it's rich, velvety, and complex, combining notes of chocolate, oats, and citrus. I don't pick up on the citrus at all in this. Yeah, that's... That sounds weird. I guess, I mean, you just kind of get that from hops sort of in general, mostly, but a porter with citrus? I don't know. Well, there's a lemon chocolate cake, you I know guess. What? I got to give it to him because I guess I'm thinking about it, I don't really taste it. Elysian is, is they've always been good at balance. And, and it's just a good brewery. Uh, they, 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 they know they what they're did doing. They did it right. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so this one is a Uinta West Coast style IPA. Let's get right in. Let's just get right jump. Let's just jump into it. <laughs> oh my that god! Part. Oh my gosh! Oh Jesus! Uh oh! Christ. Whoa! You didn't wow. open it aggressively or anything. No. I was watching that shit. <laughs> I get. To, I get to. I jumped over to the YouTube live stream so I get to watch it live. Here it comes. Jesus Christ! Oh my God, that was like right. most of the beer. Jesus, this is how far back the live stream is. You haven't even poured yet for me. Wow. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess I'll pour the rest of this. <laughs> well, how's your shirt smell? Well, good thing I'm going to the laundry. I have to. I guess I have to go to the laundry now. No, that's not so bad. Oh, uh, okay. You picked up the can. Here comes. Jesus, oh. I'm fucking soaked. <laughs> I can wring out my shirt. What? What happened? I can't hear you. Set the can down. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Okay. When you set the can down on the live stream camera, it's kind of beautiful because you set it down and it like froths over the top. Yeah. God damn. Okay. What happened? Back to our regular scheduled viewing program. I didn't. It wasn't shaking up. Thing. It wasn't. I mean, God. I'll fix. I'll fix this later. I guess. Well. <laughs> I guess I gotta taste it now. It's all over me. So cheers. Clink it. Won't drink it. It's a drinking. God, that's a good. That's a good stuff. That's pretty tasty. That's good. I like that. That's light. Fruity. Mm -hmm. 
Uh-oh. There's alcohol in that one. This is weird. That's not the highest one. The alcohol is punching through it's the flavor. Right. It's good. Yeah, maybe a little bit. But this is uh, the Uinta Brewing Company West Coast Style IPA. It is an American Style IPA, just the same as the LBC IPA. Uh, Uinta Brewing is in Salt Lake City, Utah. Oh, Utah. Yeah, it's Utah. 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 Not, not the white haven't people who seen, took over it. <laughs> haven't you seen Wild Wild West? Yeah. Yeah. Utah. Um, Utah. It's got an ABV of 6.3% and an IBU of 6, 62. So it's not yeah, it's not particularly bitter. A little bit at the end. It's supposed to be in a tulip glass. It's supposed to not foam all over you. <laughs> it's not supposed to explode for no reason. But You didn't uh, want the beer shower? I compliment No, the beer not shower. today. I guess I gotta get a new shirt for tonight for the rest of the day. Um, uh, Uinta was founded in 1993 by Will Hamill, uh, who had been brewing from <laughs> his bathroom <laughs> with a small home brew system uh, before he graduated to a 15 barrel brew house he had leased in a former car mechanic garage. And on the website they say it was it was a couple months before people stopped showing up to his brewery to get their car fixed. <laughs> um, Later that year, they expanded to two 30-barrel fermentation tanks and a 30-barrel bright tank to make the first production size batch of their beer called Cutthroat, which is a pale ale made with caramel malts and piney American hops. Um, it's still their, that's their flagship beer today still, so Cutthroat. we'll have to try Cutthroat. Um, 1994, they were making kegs of Cutthroat as well as kegs of a porter and an IPA uh, before growing even more in 1996. With a uh, Crohn's, Cronus bottling line that could cap 130 beers a minute, allowed them to start selling 12 ounce bottles. 2000, in 2000, you went to start construction on a 26,000 square foot production facility, which they would finish by the following year, just in time for the 2002 Winter Olympics in Salt Lake City. 2001, also in 2001, uh, they became, this is cool, uh, in 2001, they became 100% wind powered. They were the first business in Utah to be uh, to do so, and they are still run completely on completely sustainable energy. Fucking That's awesome, fantastic. awesome! You went to. Yeah. I want to support them just for that, even though their beers explode. <laughs> well, it's because it has so much wind inside There's the beer. Too it's all the wind. All the wind blew the beer out of me. It just <laughs> shoots <damn>. everywhere. <laughs> Excuse me. Well, I can taste the power of wind. Power of Utah. No, of Utah. Of Utah. Um, uh, by 2005, they, in 2005, they launched 4 Plus Brewing Company, which is an offshoot brewery to focus on the elemental process of beer. From what I could see, it looked like it's really like locally grown, very sustainable, clean, green uh, materials to make beer, which is cool. 2009, they brought in bourbon and rye barrels, so they could start doing a barrel aging company uh, program. Uh, 2012, they would they would buy. I, this was funny. They would buy and demolish a church just south of the brewery to construct a 34,000 square foot packaging facility um, that then expanded their campus to five acres and to a production capacity of 45,000 barrels of beer. They said they think the oh. church. It's probably okay because brewing started in the basements of uh, monks of monasteries. So it's like yeah, it's well, from one church to another. <laughs> That's the church of beer. Um, Same in Germany. Ratzkeller is yeah, Ratz under the church. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, um, it's because all the, we've seen Belgian Belgian monasteries and German monasteries like they're they're bored as shit. Like I have nothing to do, might as well make beer. Oh, you can't have sex, <laughs> but you can you drink crazy shit. But you can drink as much as you want. <laughs> you can just fucking slam alcohol all day every day. Um, they expanded two more times: 2013, 2015. It's big. The Uinta Brewing c Campus is big, is what I'm saying. It is a lot. They make a lot of beer. Um, explosive beers, apparently. But, yeah. It's good. I wonder. Here, I, So, the fact that it's Utah. <laughs> I wonder if maybe that's what helped them grow, is there's actually a Utah a local brewery. Because of Utah's strong alcohol laws. <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh, we don't have to import worse versions of <laughs> beers from other states. We it's just make a beer here. That is actually really good. very good. Um, they also did something with, um, they made a proprietary compass bottle 
I think I think the bottles. I actually should have looked this up. Compass bottle. I think they're. I don't think that's true. I was gonna say I think their bottle caps have a compass in them. <laughs> I don't think that's true though. I wouldn't know because this is a can. So if I get lost, in, if I suddenly wander out of here and get lost in the forest with my one Uinta <laughs> beer can, I'm gonna be screwed. Uh. Only because they can't. That's the only reason I'll be screwed. <laughs> Because yeah, I also smell like beer and it'll attract predators <laughs> who like beer. And hipsters. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm attract <laughs> bros and hipsters. <laughs> Actually, you know what? You will attract bros and hipsters. You're gonna attract basically all human beings because most people like beer. So. Yeah, there's so I think I want to say I think you got it for me or maybe someone else. There's a, I have a book somewhere here that's like it basically argues that humanity and civilization is because of beer <laughs> like the no. egyptians the egyptians settled on the nile because it was fertile so they could grow wheat and make alcohol which early versions of beer all of our cities are around water not i mean yeah yes because we need drinking water but until we figured out what germs are it was safe the safest thing to drink was beer because we yep. boiled the water to make it so oh. thanks beer Thanks for, for keeping us living, I guess. Okay. This feels like a nice moment for me to do the bonus. Oh, bonus? So right. I, I did not buy this. Drink it now or as it is at all. I actually bought it to make a marijuana tincture. Oh, right. Okay. Own, because I had a, a bunch of leftover tincture. And if you know anything about tinctures, <laughs> oh, you, yeah. you talk about it. Hey, too much. Give it you to me. You have to find <laughs> highest percent alcohol can. That's right. To extract the cannabinoids, the THC, all of the stuff out of it. I was at my local liquor store, and they had. Oh boy. Yeah, Diamond one... Reserve. Diamond um, Reserve. I've never heard of that. I mean, it's one fifty-one, so that tells me all you need to know. <laughs> so. I, I don't get the feeling this is um, a high quality. Where's Where's Guyana? Africa. Plantation diamond. Oh well, this is from Africa. That's kind of cool. It's diamond Diamond oh. Reserve One Fifty One. It says overproof. Well, hold on. The fact that it's diamond and it's from Africa, and I'm pretty sure Guyana, just like South Africa, is. Famous for its diamond mines, a.k.a. still basically modern slavery. What have you done, Michael? <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> hey, um, there goes best friend. 151, overproof. Emerara, whatever that means. And then it says, run, run, um. This is the different words for run. Stilled in the Demerara tradition. 75.5% alcohol. Wow. Oh my god. Yeah, it's 151. Yeah. So it's 100. Fiery proof. rum. It's it it's captures the It's Everclear. You got basically Everclear. Uh, it says it, we're going to find out if it has the notes. At 70 it it Oh, the notes of That's dead brain cells. <laughs> it's fiery rum. The notes capture it. <laughs> The Demerara region, aka Diamond Mines. Yeah. Um, Interesting. It's subtle notes of vanilla and banana are bittersweet on the palate and deliver an aromatic and sharp finish with every sip. We're mixing things up and oh, putting the belly of the back into rum. I'm dumb. I was thinking of Ghana. Guyana is South America. It's rum. That makes sense. If it's rum, that makes more it, sense. It's South America. Guyana. Okay. Yeah, yeah, not diamond mines. Uh, still, still a Dutch colony. It's gonna taste like <laughs> British it says Diana. it's going to taste like. It says it's going to taste like vanilla and banana. Oh, yeah. Oh, you want to find I out? I think if, it's going it to taste. By vanilla and banana, do you mean gasoline? <laughs> you know what? The funny thing is, is on the nose. 
Does it actually taste? It smells fruity? Vanilla and banana? It smells fruity. Uh, this is not going to pair well with a stout. Demerara, Demerara, which is Dutch, in Dutch is Demerari, is a historical region in the Guianas on the north coast of South America, which is now part of the country of Guyana. It was a Dutch colony until 1815 and counted British Guyana from 1838 to 1966. Oh, wow. Looking about the lower courses of the Demerara River, and its main town is Georgetown, which is where that brewery is. Situated on the Demerara Mahaika? Mayaka? Mayaika? Between four Atlantic Ocean. Oh, it's coastal. The go- oh boy. <laughs> I haven't had it yet. I just smelled it, like up close. Oh, the garden. It's nicknamed oh. the Garden City of the Caribbean. Oh, that's actually really. Well, Georgetown. Oh Caribbean. yeah, it's right. It's right on the. Uh... So it's on. It's on South America. It's it's right on the coast of South America, but in the Caribbean. Oh, Andrew, I'm bringing, it's bringing up a lot of bad memories. Are you going back? Are you in? Uh, are you at uh, Casino Morongo right now? <laughs> oh, more like um, Cal State Northridge. Oh, that's somehow worse. <laughs> somehow that more is. intense. <laughs> oh wow! It got me to gag from the smell. That's that's insane. Um. Well, uh, this is to you. Cheers. Yeah. Everlasting friendship. I, mean, I love you very much. I love you too, buddy. Let me squeeze some more beer out of my shirt. <laughs> so I have something. <laughs> I have still beer uh, in here. By the way, I just want to clarify. The official stance of the beer cast is foam is beer. If you don't finish your foam, you didn't finish the beer. All right? I got you there. We did... Uh, I'm talking, so I don't have to drink this. <laughs> when we went to... Um, when we went to Vegas for our friends, one of our my friends' bachelor party, we met a bunch of Belgians. We like ran into like twelve Belgians. It was weird, uh, and we would do a <laughs> we did the dong bong, which is a beer bong. We just had th- hollowed out a big toy of a of a certain kind, and slammed it into the center. So then you had to drink the beer through the t- toy, um, and the it. Belgians. We're not fans. <laughs> I'll say that much. <laughs> they went after us, and then they're like, can you please take that off? Like, we. And we took it off, <laughs> and then uh, we destroyed them because they didn't drink the foam. They left most of the of the, the dong bong with foam. I was like, yeah, this is why we won both wars. You're welcome. <laughs> they're Belgian. The we Belgians. never fought them, did we? They were no. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm just saying. All I'm saying. If you're in Le- if you're in Europe, uh, do you speak German? No. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> okay. They, they were there for two weeks in Vegas. I mean, for just two fucking weeks. drink this already. All right, go ahead. God damn it. Yeah. Yeah, that's about right. Oh boy, there it is. Oh. We've never had a vomit on beer cast or beers with Braveheart. I don't think you're nah, you're not there. You're you're right. You're gonna chase it with a porter <laughs> with a stout. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I guess it helps. It still helps. It's less. Oh, it's horrible. Yeah. Look I kinda I, I kinda got the fruitiness at one point. I, I feel like I've said this before, especially near Morongo trips. So the for, for for reference, if you don't know us, we were both in a fraternity together. It's where Braveheart, it's my nickname Braveheart comes from. But we would take our annual trip to Casino Morongo instead of Vegas because if we go to Vegas, then everyone who's not 21, just like whatever, we could just hang out and do nothing. So we would go to Morongo where you can be 18. We would always get one or two suites with their, like, max of four people each with, like, 30 guys. <laughs> uh, and we would make them do, if you were new in the fraternity, your first Morongo trip, you owe the, whoever the, the Brotherhood direct Development Director, who was in charge of, like, the uh, rituals and the, the, new, the new member program and the Brotherhood stuff, brother like, Brothers Only stuff. Uh, if you were new, you owe the BDD... A shot of Everclear. So we would make them... And then also, they would take the shot, and then they're like, okay. well, there's still 
another bottle of Everclear. I, we might as well also. <laughs> and <laughs> Don't forget the Goldschlager. And Goldschlager. Oh, that was right. That's right. It was always a shot of, the shot of Everclear. The Goldschlager was like, was that always mandatory? Or did we just, like, we also have Goldschlager. No, because just... remember, that all started because I would just bring Everclear and Goldschlager because they were, like, we... the worst yeah. things. <laughs> Goldschlager is definitely more pleasant than Everclear. But we forced and way better. They were. It was just that was a better option. I mean, you if you were new, you had to do Everclear, just a shot. We would make a drink with Everclear. But um, what was my point? Uh, yeah, and that's those Morongos were the Morongo trips were shit shows. Uh, but it was so yeah, much were. fun. I still still one of my favorite memories of all time of not just the fraternity, just in general is there was the one. It was the last one we all went to. It was you, me, Krupa, and Will Cardona. And we were just, like, done. We hadn't really gotten drunk. We were just like, Ugh, I just want to go home. And Will had driven. So then we drove back. Will drove us back in the middle of the night. And out of nowhere, I just started singing Bohemian Rhapsody. And then we did a full-on acapella version of Bohemian Rhapsody with all the parts. And it was, fuck, it's the best. It's, I'm so excited. I'm so happy. I still get pumped up when I think about it. Because it was just like... There's no other group in the fraternity who maybe if I bet you Legro would have done it if we could swap anyone out with Legro he would have done it but uh, and Day Day and I mean, Day Day and Day Day the fraternity would have happily done it but but no one I don't think any of any outside of those four would have done it as quickly Sticky if Sticky was there for sure Sticky would have started it would have yeah he would have he would have gone hard <laughs> yeah. Uh, but I just went, is this a real life? And then everyone, and the next line, is this just fantasy? <laughs> that was good. That was fun. Times. So Times. that's what I think of America. Oh, that's what I was going to say, is uh, from the Morongo trips, I remember looking it up. Um, yeah, uh, Everclear and 151 is 75.5% alcohol. Um, rubbing alcohol is 70 six percent alcohol so you're only 0.5 percent away from rubbing alcohol <laughs> and that explains a lot <laughs> but the reason you can get this in hawaii it was it was actually outlawed about two years ago but really? they recently made it okay again because of covid <laughs> everyone's depressed Not for you can have a drink some shit oh Oh, for, for consumption to make hand sanitizer for disinfectant. That well, what did I just say? <laughs> it's point five percent away from hand sanitizer. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, that's interesting. That's funny. Okay. But, all right, well, uh, it, I can't. It's so much hotter now. I can't extract any more beer from my shirt. So uh, I finished my beers. We did have a good conversation. This is the show with uh, good sides and best buds. If I didn't say that already, I don't think I did. I gotta remember to say that. Pinky out, pinky, pinky. Do you mean he's putting on airs? <laughs> what kind of place is this? <laughs> uh. Anyways, that's uh. Thank you for joining us. I'm Braveheart. That is Mike. Mike, where can, where can they find you on the socials? Oh, I mean. I do have some cool stuff if they're interested. Yeah. I've got uh, um, um, in my personal account, but I don't need to advertise that at all. But I have uh, uh, Bass Trombone Tuba Man on Instagram, at Bass Trombone Tuba Man for my music stuff. And then recently I've been I've been posting a lot and doing a lot with... Um, with your drone, right? At Drone Mike is my website. <laughs> now, it's so let, funny. Me, let me really explain this. <laughs> the name of the account is... At Drone Mike is my website. Right. Oh, and then it's the same on YouTube. At Drone Mike is my website on YouTube. Okay. <laughs> was your, your first one was uh, ba trom Bass Trombone Tuba Man, right? Uh, bass Trombone uh, uh, bass trombone Tuba Man. You might have said Mike Bass Trombone Tuba Man, something like that. I'll, I'll double check it. should be more prepared for this next time. But, That's I right. mean, if anybody's interested, just ask Andrew. Uh, I'll put media and I'll, help you out. I'll put the links down below. So, um, yeah, and then you can find me at uh, under at uh, I think it's at under, Braveheart underscore eighteen ninety eight, and then also here's on Smart Smart One Prod. Um, that's Smart One Prod is both Instagram and Twitter. 
Um, we'll do the live streams here, and then uh, when we get, whenever I get around to cutting in, uh, cutting up this episode, and we'll do um, separate episodes. We'll put that on the beer cast, which you can find over here, over there, over the, over there, uh, over there. Um, yes, Mike. Thank you. If I do have anything to promote, and I mean this very seriously, please watch uh, Andrew's video game streams um, where I'm a part of it because I genuinely think they're fucking hilarious. Yes, well, you, um, you beat me to it. <laughs> like, okay. Yeah, I just wanted to say, like, if you want to find me, yeah, I've got cool, I'm doing a lot of drone footage of surfing in Oahu, and I got my music stuff, which is fantastic. I'll be in the Orange County Fair in a brass band. Um, but what I'm doing with and this is awesome. I love that we're doing this, Andrew, once yeah, again. And this... I, can't wait to, I can't wait for next month. Yeah. Um, but I got more beer. And I apologize for saying it ahead of you. No, that's fine. I think what we are doing video game-wise, you and me, um, is genuinely hilarious. It's so like, funny. So, so what he's talking about is bad at video games as our other streams. We have been streaming. Uh, this last week was kind of rough. I'll be honest. I've been. It's been a lot of work, and it's it's pretty much all on me, so it's my fault. But um, uh, we're gonna get back to it. Work is kind of even out a little bit, so I, I should be get, be getting back into it. But what Mike's talking about is bad at video games. So we have streams. We stream Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and then we also are posting pre-recorded to standard let's plays very much look i've been very upfront that game grumps is one of my favorite things in the world and we're doing it's like game grumps we play a game it's pre-recorded and we talk over it um those are on monday wednesday friday and mike and i have been playing let's um get out uh and it's oh my god it's so funny uh we are very silly and yeah. it's ridiculous and it's fantastic we also are gonna play we're gonna get back into some halo too um sticky and i will be playing um doom here pretty soon uh and with tyler and we just we got a whole group of smart ones uh we're playing and we're all bad at video games so we're gonna be doing that are, are so. any of them the uh the sea of thieves those are on there uh we have we haven't streamed sea of thieves in a while but there are some the old highlights you can still find right here on smart one productions um that's the the uh, twitch stream highlights um, you should repost some of that shit onto your video game, uh, video games. It's here. No, I mean, some, it's, it's here. It's on this this exact channel. Okay. Yeah. Some of, some of the moments where Yumi and Matt are uh, uh, in in Sea of Thieves are when we just get into like, shit, I, shit show mode. The very first time I found the explodey barrels. Oh yeah. <laughs> It's still, still, it's like, oh, Mike, I found something for you. And then Sticky's like, why the fuck did you tell him that's, that's there? I was like, because it's funny. <laughs> because yeah, but you now every like time it. I get one, he just shoots me and I explode everywhere. <laughs> it's And it's still funny. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so, look, we're going to start getting more consistent. It's just, you know, this is up to me, but... Uh, we're doing better. We're, we're getting, we're getting, we're getting over the hump, and we'll, we'll get better. So, Monday, basically, the idea is to have something posting Monday through Saturday. So, whether it's a pre pre recorded post or a live stream, we're gonna do this every week. So, look forward. This will probably be, honestly, it'll be about when when you're here. I so we could legitimately do it. If you want to come over one night, and we'll just do it together. <laughs> that would be fun. I know you'll. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out because you'll probably sleep on the couch. Yeah, uh, and share the same room as my dad. <laughs> you can sleep in my chair. <laughs> we can, Sounds we can, good. You, we can share the bed. We can cuddle. We can cuddle up. It's fine by me. I don't care. It'll probably be hot by then, though. Actually, <laughs> it's all right. I got a fan. We'll be all right. Um, but anyways, I'm Braveheart. That's Mike. Uh, we will see you next time. Thank you for stopping by. Uh, thanks for coming to having a beer with us. Uh, be cool. Be kind. Drink beer. Watch movies. Alright, uh, go away.